It's been four years now since this father of two, who is confined to a wheelchair, has been on a waiting list for an adaptive housing unit. In his current home, he has very little room to easily move around. If the definition of accessibility ended with uh, a ramp uh, being added to the front door uh, so that I could get in the house, then this house would fit that definition. However, uh, if you look at the bathroom in this house, it is about the size of a little bit bigger than a closet. So if you try to maneuver a power wheelchair and transfer somebody uh, using a, a transfer lift, there's just not enough room uh, to do what needs to be done in that area. So um, not only that, the bedrooms are far too small. The doorways are far too narrow. Initially, he was waiting for a one-bedroom unit. But over these past few years, as his family grew, he became eligible for a three-bedroom home. Currently, he's at the top of the list, but he's been there for the past year, and so far, nothing has become available. And he's afraid this will be the case for years to come. They have essentially said that um, because my needs are, are different than the average, that there aren't that many units available that suit my needs, and um, I need to be patient and wait for an appropriate unit to become available. Um, they have indicated that they don't have uh, enough units to actually properly house individuals with uh, disabilities. Within the city's social housing waitlist, there are 36 of 46 social housing providers who actually have modified units but there are only 16 three-bedroom units throughout the city and officials say there's a very low turnover when it comes to modified units in general. There are two developments planned under the Canada-Ontario Affordable Housing Program for Sudbury and while they're in the early stages they will eventually provide some relief for residents requiring a modified unit. The Northern Life has put in numerous requests to the city's housing services registry for an on-camera interview about the waiting list and the developments. However, the department head has said there's no one available for that. Mandy Hargrave, NorthernLife.ca.